Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Saturday the 18th. It is just uh, nearly off the state. She had a nice little rain shower, which I'm saving some money on my water bills. As you can see, the sun's just starting to set, which is nice. Yesterday was absolutely a scorcher. So let's have a quick, quick walk around the garden. You can see my geraniums looking absolutely stunning. You all need this weather, you all need this water. I have my little tailors here. These uh, I've got a fungus inf uh, I've got an infection. I just want to show you this. You're inside, all rotten. I forget the name for it now, it's some kind of gnat that gets into the seed pods, into the flower pods, causes them to uh, basically rot from the inside out, which is not a good thing. I'm going to give them a spray, see if I can get on top of it. Because I don't want to waste all these flowers. Like that one. But yeah, apart from that, you see all the uh, the raindrops glistening on the leaves there. But yeah, I'll spray these tomorrow, see if I can get on top of that. These are my larger lilies, my tree lilies. These flower for several days. Nothing wrong with these. They're fine. We have some looping seed pods which I'll probably collect as you can see here getting quite a few of those and they come down here nice hollyhock here that'll be flowering soon I like these because you get several flowers what happens with hollyhocks they flower from the bottom upwards and then on each on each side you get several flowers on each one so you get like a flush of flowers going going up and then it'll stop from the bottom again and it'll go up again amazing how they do it absolutely amazing down here, this is my flux white centered, absolutely gorgeous. Aquilegia just trying to set seed, so they need to be taken out. Come down here, some more of these looping seeds. Just want to pop this open if I can pop this open and show you inside here if it's ready. This one here, these are not ready yet. See how green they are on the inside, they need to be nice and dry, those. So when they're ready, they turn black, they start to turn black at the top. Down here, we have my carnation. A beautiful white when it flowers. And this absolutely amazing foxglove. Look at that there. And the bee's absolutely gone mad for it. Come down here. This is a peony poppy, an open poppy. Which would be nice when that flowers. Come round. Last flower on this looping. And we come down here with the rain, as cars used to go over. But, wow, the smell of those is absolutely outstanding. You see the weight on those, so if you don't state them. Look at the two thistles there. It's the first time I've noticed those. They are coming out. Don't like them at all. Come down here. Look at this hoster. Because I'm not using sluggo snail pellets this year. Look at that. But one thing you got to put up with. And look at those little... So, so, so. They're having a good munch, aren't they? Crafty little so, so. As soon as it rains, slugs and snails come out with loads. There's my beautiful dwarf lupin. One of my favourites. I'm going to collect some seeds off that this year and see, see what I get from them. Come down here. This peony has gone over. It's gone so far over, it's actually snapped. My fault for not staking it. Look at that. What a mess. Come down here. Oriental poppy. Just finished flowering. What I'll do with these is when it's finished flowering, I will cut that back right down to the bottom and then you should get a second flower from your oriental poppies if you do that. Come down here. All this has been weeded, as you can see. Daylil is in the middle. A nice two poppies here. Two two papas so many ferns these are self-seeded they should be nice and we come back around here <clears throat> as you can see here just down to my pots now and planters this is my begonias what you want to do with these is now now they're starting to produce uh, quite a few flowers yeah i'm going to go through them and make sure you get rid of all the female seed pods so i've already got rid of some of these is there one there? No. Have a look, quick look through, like so. 
got one here. So you've got a female on there and a big female on there. So by getting rid of those, you'll add the male flowers to fatten up and produce bigger flowers. So I'll do that pretty regularly with the uh, begonias once you start. As you can see here, nice foxglove there, digitalis, next to some agapanthus down the bottom. This is my blue penstemon, which is really beautiful. And then we come down here, we have my first hanging basket. This is some of our petunias that we're growing from seed this year. Petunias are really quite an easy plant to grow. So I really do enjoy growing them. And you can take cuttings from them. Also in the autumn, before the first frost, you can take them in and this you can overwinter them. If you haven't got a greenhouse, a windowsill will be fine, as long as they're frost free. This one's got a mixture of petunias, pelagonians and begonias. Look at this, this begonia here, just get rid of this seed pod here. That'll allow that to fatten up nice. Oh, look at that, damaged it. That's when you want to think, you want to be looking out for it. You don't want to damage the main flowers. So that's pens, uh, petunias, begonias and pelagonias in there. Next one along, it's just petunias. The one in the middle here, this double treble one, was from last year, and the rest around me, the single ones, are all ones that have been grown from seed. So yeah, just want to pick up back from here. Really looking forward, really looking nice those. And we go down here, another petunia. There, and that is uh, a pink carnation. My agapanthus here that's just trying to get some flower heads on, up on there. Should be some of the rest as well. Should be popping out soon, which would be great. And we have a vertical plant here. The top three pots were all from my uh, petunias from last year. And look at these, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colour on those. Outstanding. This one's called Midnight Something. I like this one. It's a smaller flower, but there's more of them. And then the rest have just been grown from seed. And then we come down here, we have Agapanthus at the bottom there. And then next to that, my sweet pea wigwam. And these are smelling absolutely gorgeous now. That has got a dinner plate daily, a cafe au lait. What I'm going to do with that is cut these leaves back and then that will give these marigolds some, some light at the bottom there. Uh, my first flower of the year, my first uh, poppy, open poppy, papaver, somebody fair them. This is a uh, peony variety. Call this one pink panther. Absolutely outstanding. I'm going to save some seeds from this. So if anybody wants any seeds, when they're ready, I shall let people know. And look at the uh, electric blue behind there, delphinium. Absolutely outstanding. And we come along here. Another peony. That is, I think that one's called Flemish Antique, that one. And then we have here, another beautiful peony. It smells absolutely gorgeous. Then my uh, clematis, it just finished, look at that. Just finished, I shall trim that back. So the next flower's node, the next to it node, that should be fine. Look at, this, look at the sweet piece here, absolutely outstanding. Absolutely stunning, and this one absolutely out of this world. And we come down here, we have my little, fit, little blue bench. Sit down. These foxgloves are going to need a trim back. Trim them back. But yeah, that's about it. If you've got any questions about anything growing in my garden, please don't hesitate to ask folks. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much, everybody, for your support. It's really welcome. And as always, happy sowing, happy growing. Thank you for watching, everybody, and please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.